Holy smokes, my computer is overheating. Oh well. Can't handle all this music theory, I guess. So we're going to be talking about note values today. Um, each note represents a duration as well as a sound, depending on its position on the staff. Uh, we'll be going over that duration uh, aspect uh, right now. So uh, The notes will always be placed in a line or space uh, sequence in whatever form. However, we want to add a stem to those notes. So remember, a, a note kind of kind of looked like something like this, right? Something like this, right? You could fill it in either way. Um, and I'm sure you've seen this before, but with with those um, sequencing of notes to make it much more connected, you add a stem. You know, you could either point it up, or you could point down. Right? You've seen this before. So. Um, it is important to place to place these note stems correctly, either up or down. Um, and let me give you the positioning uh, of a staff really quickly. Let's let's uh, let's make a staff happen right now. Bam! Again, not a very good treble sign, but regardless, if the note is placed bef uh, be below the third line, again. If you remember, this is one, two, three, four, five. If it's below this middle line here, the stem is placed on the right side, pointing upwards, like this. If the note is placed above this middle third line, the stem is placed on the left side, pointing downwards, like this. If the note is on the middle line, the stem can be placed in either position. So. Let's let's try that out. Let's let's see if the note if the note is placed like here, right? It's below the third line, so we're gonna have to go up. Exactly. Now let's try and uh, see if if it's above here, right? Let's put a note right here. So it's above this middle line, right? So it's gonna be on the left side, and it's gonna point down. Right. Now, if it is on this middle third line, right, it can be either or. So this could be up or, right, or, <laughs> that kind of looks like a frown face. Anyways, it could be either up or down, right, like so. Um, there are several types of notes, um, and I'll show you the, the the most common ones. They have to do with duration, right? Um, all all these note values ha have to do with duration. And um, let me let me uh, jot those down right now. Well, that was nifty. Anyways, so starting with the basic note, the ones that we used in these lessons, oh yeah, I still have them, that's right. Um, starting with this one, this one is what they call the whole note, right? Whole note. Break that down in half, what do you get? What's, what's half of a whole? Well, it's, it's a half. It is a half. Break down half of a half. What do you get? Well, half of a half is a quarter. Man. A quarter. Break down half of a half of a quarter. What do you get? Well, half of a quarter is an eighth note. And half of that would be sixteenth. Now this isn't to say that this is the be-all end-all of note durations. Again, it can be 16th, 32nd, 64th, 128th, you keep going down, right? But these are the most commonly used. Right, and so again, basically it all starts with the the whole note, right? And it will it will branch down, this one has 
two half notes, right? Uh, two half notes, and these two half notes both have two quarter notes, right? Right, you sort of get the picture. And those would break down even further with uh, two eighth notes each. And obviously, as you can see, one whole note, right? One whole note, two half notes, four quarter notes, eight eighth notes. And if you break this down in half, you'll get 16 sixteenth notes, right? So you get the picture. Uh, now, the last thing I want to talk about in this uh, in this lesson is um, is sort of what happens when I mean, you're not just going to have every note separately, right? You're going to have some notes obviously strung together. That that that's what rhythm is. Um, and so, in order to properly, well, in order to properly um, connect these two notes, let's say you had um, two quarter notes, right? So here's a here's a quarter note. You're gonna draw a line to the next one to the next note. So these are two quarter notes, right? This this is basically the same as saying two quarter notes. Right? Now if you had maybe oh I don't know you know four sixteenth notes, right? You could do a number of ways. So if you had four sixteenth, right? So one, two, three, four. So you basically have a line all the way across, right? Another line all the way across, because these are sixteenth notes. See how this has double double tail? Um, you connect them, right? So these are uh, four sixteenth notes, and four sixteenth note is the same as saying one quarter note, right? Um, so that being said, it could be, you know, four sixteenth notes strung together. It could be, you know, one quarter note. Sorry. Wait, what am I saying? Two quarter notes. Wow, I can do math. Um, it could be one quarter note and, you know, two eighth notes. It, you know, it could be like this, right? Two eighth notes like this. These guys are going to be strung together, right? Um, so these are all the same thing, right? And that's just the same as two quarter notes again, right? So these are all essentially the same. And uh, that's all I want to cover. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.